With the successful launch of the M4 chip in devices like the iPad Pro, there's a buzz in the air about what's next for Apple. So, let's explore the possibilities and speculate on what the future might hold. Interestingly, Apple is one of the few companies that introduces its baseline processors or chipsets first, and then releases the more powerful versions later. This is in stark contrast to companies like Intel, AMD, and Nvidia, which typically debut their most powerful devices first, followed by the mid-range and then the base models. With recent developments, it seems that Apple might be on the brink of introducing a groundbreaking new chip, potentially dubbed the M4 Ultra, at the upcoming WWDC 2024 event. Mark Kerman's recent report shed some light on Apple's plans, suggesting that the tech giant is considering bypassing the M3 Ultra entirely for its high-end desktop lineup. This decision aligns with Kerman's earlier accurate prediction of the M4 chip's inclusion in the iPad Pros. Speculating on Gurman's report, it's conceivable that his sources initially hinted at the M3 Ultra, unaware of Apple's intentions, to leapfrog to the M4 Ultra. This inadvertent leak could indicate a strategic move by Apple to keep its competitors guessing while quietly advancing its chip development. Considering Apple's trajectory with the M4, it's unlikely that they would backtrack to release an M3 Ultra now. It wouldn't align with their forward-looking approach to technology. Instead, it's reasonable to expect Apple to debut the M4 Ultra, possibly alongside other variants like the M4 and M4 Pro. Moreover, the long overdue update to the Mac Mini, which hasn't seen a refresh in nearly 18 months, adds weight to the possibility of Apple introducing the M4 and M4 Pro chips across its entire Mac lineup. This would mark a significant step forward in Apple's silicon journey and could redefine the performance benchmarks for their desktop and mini computer offerings. There's a distinct possibility that the much-anticipated unveiling of new desktop Macs at WWDC 2024 might not come to fruition. In fact, the timeline for the release of these new models suggests that the earliest we might lay eyes on them could be towards the latter part of this year for the Mac Mini, with the Mac Studio and Mac Pro potentially not making their debut until the summer of 2025. While this news may not be the most exciting for enthusiasts, it's important to recognize that the transition from Intel to M2 Ultra in the previous Mac Pro model took three and a half years, indicating that the current situation is not entirely unprecedented. For those eagerly awaiting the arrival of a Mac Studio equipped with an M4 Ultra chip, disappointment may loom on the horizon, as the debut of the M3 Ultra seems uncertain for this year and could potentially be pushed to next year. In the meantime, the M2 Ultra continues to offer commendable performance, and even the MacBook Pro with M3 Max remains a formidable choice for those considering an upgrade. However, for individuals seeking cutting-edge performance, it appears that patience will be required until next year. So, I think it's clear where we're headed with this. It doesn't look like we'll be seeing any new desktop Macs at WWDC 2024 unless there are new leaks or reports before the event. As it stands, there's no substantial information suggesting anything new is coming this summer. This likely means we won't see any updates or upgrades to the desktop Mac lineup, which is disappointing news. However, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Are you upset about having to wait until next year, or do you believe it will be worth the wait considering the impressive benchmarks we've seen with the initial M4 for the iPad Pros? Please share your opinions in the comments section below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, take care.